Hello, I'm David Whalen, and today we're going to talk about the world's best water. Plus, I have an amazing demonstration that you're not going to want to miss, so stay tuned. Did you know that the quality of water that you drink is just as important as the quantity of water you drink? Water quality varies all over the map, but there are four basic criteria that you should judge the water that you drink by. Purity, pH, mineral content, and oxygen content. If you're looking to drink the best water, then it should pass the test of these four criteria. So let's take a deeper look at them. Most water fails the first and most basic test, purity. Municipal and city water supplies are full of impurities. There are chemicals in them, pesticides, chlorine, They've even found drugs in the city water supplies. Okay, well then I'll filter it out, you think. Problem with filters is they don't filter everything out. Things that are water soluble, like drugs, can make it through the filter. Plus, these filters also filter out the good things, like calcium and magnesium. Okay, well what about spring water? Spring water, there are thousands of springs around the world. Some of them are great, but they're not required to document how pure the water actually is so you're still in doubt. The only pure water is distilled water. All that's in it is H2O. But that's also the problem. It doesn't have any minerals in it. So if you drink distilled water, you're going to want to recharge it. And we'll talk a little more about that in a minute. Most water is pH neutral, or 7.0. And this basically means that the acidic and the alkaline elements are in balance. Now if there are more alkaline elements in the water, then it's alkaline. And you want to be drinking alkaline water because it will help to neutralize the acids inside your body that can damage your body. Unfortunately, most water is either neutral or slightly acidic. And drinking acidic water contributes to an acidic system. And if your body's acidic, that's going to lead to a lot of different health problems. The best water also has a healthy dose of minerals in it, ionic ones. Ionic minerals are minerals that carry an electrical charge. Your body is electric. Every nerve impulse requires electrochemical transmission. So when you load your body with ionic minerals, you help to conduct those electrochemical transmissions better. I'm going to demonstrate this in a minute, so do not leave. You're going to want to see this. But also, ionic minerals help to structure or cluster your water. This helps every single cell membrane in your body absorb water much easier. All water is going to pass this test to some degree because all water contains oxygen. It is H2O, after all. But if your water is alkaline and ionic, it's going to contain more oxygen. Alkaline equals oxygen, and oxygen equals alkaline. So in a review, you want to be drinking water that is pure, alkaline, ionic, and oxygenated. Now we're going to compare 10 different waters to see how they stack up, including water infused with pH booster. Let's take a look. Remember criteria number three, whether or not the water you're drinking is ionic? Remember, ionic minerals conduct electricity. Ionic minerals are energy. We're going to take 10 different waters and see how well they conduct electricity, not only in this glass, but inside your body. We have a little open-ended circuit here. It's connected to a light bulb. We're going to pour the water into this glass, and if it conducts electricity, the light bulb is going to light up. Now we're going to test each one of them, and we're going to test the pH of them. Let's get going. We're going to start with Arrowhead. Here we go. Nothing. What about the pH? Six and a half. How about Smart Water?
and the pH. Seven. Let's check out vitamin water. There was a big write up the other day talking about <clears throat> the healthy drink, vitamin water, having more sugar in it than Coke. Wow. At any rate, what do you think? This is the one with vitamins and minerals in it. It's faint. I'm seeing a little something. Okay, how about the pH? of this sugarly delight, huh? Bad. Not even six. Very acidic. We don't want to forget the French, so let's try Evian, huh? Okay, how about the pH? Almost up to eight. Nothing. The pH? Maybe seven. Alright, here's a new one on the market, Evermore. Claims to be alkaline artesian water. How about you, Evermore? Nothing. about the pH? Wow, it's up to nine. Fiji? And the pH? Seven and a half. How about Gatorade? Now surely Gatorade must light the light bulb. I mean, ions are also electrolytes. Something's got to happen here, right? Ooh, little something. Okay. How about the pH? Oh, doesn't even hit six, folks. Let's try Penta Water. Nothing. pH? Surprisingly, not even six and a half. Now we're going to test distilled water infused with pH booster. Remember, distilled water is the purest water you can drink. But as I said before, you have to recharge it. Now with all the other waters, we didn't even discuss purity, right? Pure H2O is not going to conduct any electricity. There's nothing in it. But we, when we infuse it with pH booster, step one and two, Look at that. Remember, ions are what conduct electricity. Energy comes from ions, not from caffeine, not from stimulants. It comes from your body's ability to conduct current. Now let's check the pH. Nine and a half, right where you want it to be. Well, that wraps things up and concludes our quest to find the best water. Remember, the best water is pure, it's alkaline, it's ionic, and it's oxygenated. And you can be drinking the best water every single day by putting pH booster into distilled water. Thanks for watching.